My name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I'm gonna explain how can you create a docker image for any python application. So let's quickly jump into the demo part and see how we can create a docker image. So what I have done is I have just created a very simple python program which actually runs a small web server on the local machine and the port on which this is going to be run is 8890 right so if i just run this particular program what it's gonna do is it's gonna return index.html that's we gonna see quickly okay so if since that server is running so if i just put this 8890 so it is returning this content and this content is coming from this so when I'm just requesting, uh, I'm just hitting that 88, 8890 port on which the server.py is running, it's returning this index.html. I can show you the content of that which we are seeing on my browser, right? These are the content which we are seeing on a browser, right? So now, if I want to create a Docker image for this particular Python, what we have to do? So to creating a Py to creating a Docker image, the very first thing which we need to create is a Docker file, which actually contains all the setup instruction for setting up this particular uh, Python code, right? And this Python is basically a web server, a small web server, right? But in real time, we have a more complicated, uh, you know, the Python and which requires a lot of dependencies to be solved, a lot of, uh, you know, the software to be installed before running that. But this time, I just kept it very easy. In an in a upcoming video, I will try to add a more complexity on the same server program, and then we're going to see how we can create the Docker image. But just to start with, let's quickly create a Docker file for this particular Python. Right. So I have already, uh, this one, uh, let me just remove this. So what we have to do is, uh, so very first thing is we have to have a one operating system in which, you know, the Python's to be installed, right? So what we have to do is there is uh, from this is the base operating system and this is a lightweight Alpine on which the Python 3 will be installed. So I'm just first command is a Python is from Python 3 Alpine. The next thing which we have to do is uh, we need these two files, right? Because the server.py will actually contain the server code which actually going to run inside the container through the docker image which we're gonna create and when we will hit that uh, end point when we hit, hit that url that in a response this index.html is going to be written right so this index.html is also required to be inside the container and that's the reason we have this add so what this add command is doing with this dot is it's copying all the file okay and this is what our destination folder inside the container so in a container the, there would be a app folder we be created when we will be running the docker container with this docker image which we're gonna create for this docker file right and it will copy all the file except the docker file and that part we have i have already covered in my docker tutorial series and i will be putting a link for that into the description section so that you can just refer that and you can just go through the uh, videos where i just explained the docker file and all the commands all the instruction which we can put in a docker file the next thing is a work directory work directory actually what it does is when you run the container by default it is going to take you inside this app folder where our index file and the server.py are going to be the next thing is the which command we want to run when we are going to execute when we are going to create a container out of docker image so this by this cmd is actually the instruction which tells okay if you are going to run a container then this particular command to be run so to run any python program we have to have give a python followed by the name of a python script file right so python and the server py and we have to pass you know all the values all the command into the array format and that's the reason we are giving a python in a double code then the python then the python script name right so since we have created this file so let me just quickly run build the docker image so to create a docker image that the command is docker build and we can give a tab t just for a tagging we can just define a name what name we wanted to give so let's say first python server dot is it will just pick it will just search for the docker file on the same folder in which i'm just running this command so this command has been run successfully 
so we can see this first python server image has been created now what we have to do is we have to run this so docker run i'm just gonna run this double double dash rm which actually tells when you are stopping a container then it should exit it so then i'm gonna use the minus d which actually help us to run the container into the background and it will return a container id the next thing I'm going to use is minus p as we know that the server py the, the web server which we are going to run that is by default going to run inside the container at 8890 because that is a default port but on a host machine I, if suppose I wanted to expose that 8890 to a different port altogether what I have to do so to you know since that server is already running let me just quickly stop that So it's not returning anything right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the same port not same port we can use 8891 but here you have to give the port on from the container on which your uh, server is running and which is running by an 8890 because that is what we hard coded inside the program and this is what our server is right if i just put a docker ps now it is running and see earlier we when we run it locally it was running on 8890 which is not returning anything right and the reason is when we run when we created a docker container we exposed this 8890 container port to a 8891 right so here if instead of 8890 if i'll give 8891 now we are getting this and this information and this you know index.html is coming from the container not from the local host machine right so i believe now you got the sense you know how we can create a docker image right the another thing which i wanted to explain uh, you know uh, but in the next video we definitely gonna cover this so let me just give you a quick explanation what i wanted to cover because that also a very important concept suppose if i have a module which I am using let's say a config parser which actually help us to create a config and just parse it and that config parser is by default doesn't come with the Python installation right and that's the reason we were not installing explicitly inside the container any module because the container and the module I was using it's by default comes with the Python 3 installation which is uh, when we just you know install this Python column 3 alpine which actually has those two modules suppose in case this is not there for example the config parser the docker file uh, which we have to do is we have to use a run command which actually help us to pip install and we can just give a parser I mean I just uh, giving uh, I just you know wanted to cover this because I know most of the time almost all the time you know we create a python script which has you know the uh, uh, the module which are not you know comes with the you know the the default installation or default package of a python right so that is how we can do if we have a more number of you know the module which we need to install we can use the requirement the text as well so run is basically which actually help us to uh, you know set up the uh, if we want to install any software inside the container that has that run command also you can just you know refer my to docker tutorial series and you can get to know about all these stuff so for this particular video that's it from my side that is what i wanted to cover and for more advanced you know or more complicated python application docker image creation we will you know i will just publish my further videos where we will be where where i will try to com complete you know the more complicated scenario and that's those scenario will be more closer to the real time scenarios uh, so that's it from my side if you have any feedback and suggestion please feel free to put that in a comment section and if you have any suggestion for me to just improve my videos or you know include some more content to explain in a more simpler way please do so that would really help me to you know uh, creating my un uh, upcoming videos thanks for watching this and as always keep learning and keep healthy